Hello everyone. This is a new video which is about how to make a carrier in exercise physiology. So let's get started. So first of all, what is exercise physiology? So basically physiology is the scientific study of the body and how it works, including all the mechanical, physical and chemical processes that take place in the body and exercise physiology utilize, utilizes this knowledge to prescribe effective exercise programs for rehabilitation and relief from pain and discomfort as well as to treat many chronic health conditions. It is one of the allied health professions and involves the study of the acute responses and chronic adaptations to exercise. So basically in this we analyze and we study what is the short term conditions, uh, what are the short term responses of the body which occurs due to an exercise and uh, what happens, what are the changes that takes place in the body, what are the processes which happens due to the exercise in the short term and then we also look upon the long term benefit, long term adaptations, what are the long term changes in the body what are the changes in the process and the chemical process of physical changes, mechanical changes in the body due to exercise uh, and through this we can prescribe uh, proper exercise programs and give proper planning for rehabilitation and for relief uh, from any injury management. Next, it is about exercise physiology in India. So basically top physiology lab, sporting organizations, national sporting bodies, sports universities and athletes have hired exercise physiologists in recent years and the demand for top level exercise physiologists is in high demand especially ones who have had good research and experience and sports authority of India, BCCI, national teams sports institutes like Abhinav Bindra High Performance Center, Inspire Institute of Sports, Invictus Performance Lab, Sporting Ethos, etc. have been hiring exercise physiologists in the, in the, in the particular organizations and institutes. Uh, so there is a lot of potential for this field as it's one of the important and core subject of sports science. And a lot of uh, jobs are available in India uh, through this uh, field. Next is about ways to enter exercise physiology. So basically you can enter through, through ways which is sports science like doing with sports science, science degree and without sports science degree. So basically with sports science degree you can be uh, you can do bachelor or master degree in sports science and having certification as registered exercise physiologist through ACSM and certification in BLS and ACLS uh, basically by basic life support and uh, uh, without sports science degree you can do like through come through bachelor master PhD MD in physiology and uh, and get experience on the ex ex uh, exercise physiology part and then certification as registered exercise physiologist uh, through ACSM and certification in BLS and ACLS. Next is about uh, like what are the essentials for exercise physiology. So basically first of all it's important that you have a good knowledge of physiology and exercise prescription and planning. So it's essential that you have this basic knowledge as it's a good base to start your career in the in this field. Then you should have a good experience of using different equipments and technologies like Monarch exercise bikes, skin fold calipers, treadmill, uh, etc. And next is being able to analyze and measurements through help of equipments. So being able to uh, understand what are the values and what are the important things to be noted down while doing tests and uh, uh, using e equipments. And so that's important for your own uh, own uh, research and own 
working uh, capacity so being able to understand and being an, being an, an, being able to analyze the data next is being able to handle equipments with care and pre precautions so it's important that you take a uh, good uh, care in these field for the equipments and because they are expensive and it's very hard to basically it's very costly to get them repair or have even maintenance so it's important that, that you take good care of these uh, equipments and take precautions while using them next is being able to simplify and interpret data and analysis so basically that you being able to simplify the data and being able to interpret the data into simpler words so that the athlete and the coach or the coach can understand what you are trying to implement what are you trying to develop uh, for the program for basically for and why you why are you doing this so basically uh, next is about having a good experience and knowledge of basic life support so basically in this field there will be a lot of uh, not a lot of there is a chance that uh, that you may face emergency situations so you should be able to identify and help the athlete in those conditions so you should know what are the uh, things needed to, to be done during the emergency cases uh, so like for example like cardiac arrest if the because uh, these tests may push the athlete to the maximum so you should know uh, like how to handle uh, when an athlete uh, gets in cardiac uh, cardiac arrest so being able to uh, have ex expertise in this field is really important for having the basic life support knowledge and you should able to get no, uh, experience in this field also so next is about having experience of multi sports analysis so basically you should not contain yourself to one sport having a experience of a variety of sports may expand your knowledge about the body's working physiology uh, due to exercise in different sports it will help you uh, also it will also help you in uh, further research in future researches next is about being able to publish research journals articles books etc regarding the field so it's important that you keep uh, learning and keep doing your own research and publishing your articles what 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 are the cases you are handling so basically being able to identify what are what is your main uh, uh, philosophy or what are the main ideology that you follow a particular and what are the main particular pathway that you want to follow in the exercise physiology field like being able to analyze the aerobic capacity or being able to analyze anaerobic capacity so yeah that's that next is being able to work in a team environment and have good communication skills so basically that uh, in the lab you will face a, lo a lot of variety of people there is a lot of uh, your sports sensor staff who are working in different fields so being able to work with them share knowledge with them next is being able to have good communication between athlete and the coach so that's important to share good knowledge and being able to communicate what are your plans with them and next is about updating yourself with latest research articles books and journal so basically do not uh, just think that learning is still just a particular uh, point of time learning is for uh, for your whole life you have to keep updating yourself keep learning new things latest things and being able to identify what is right and wrong in the research articles uh, it's important that you take care and do your uh, do your work upon updating yourself and learning your new skills next is about learning under under an experience and high quality mentor so when you are starting your career it's important that you work and learn through a good uh, high quality mentor who has uh, who has worked in the field for long time and has a good 
good knowledge in this field so being able to work under those kind of people it's really helpful for your future so next is about like what are the exercise physiology courses in india so basically there is uh, in manipal university we have shri ramchandra university has bsc msc courses of sports science dy patel also has bsc uh, ism has recently launched their new program which is bsc and msc program and also lnip has launched msc sports science program central university of rajasthan so this university has particular specialization course so basically you can do msc sports physiology next is guru nanak dev university they also have a particular specialization course on exercise physiology uh, so next is like anna malai university they have bsc sports science and they have a specialization course uh, in msc and ph till phd also and ass rm delhi they have bsc and msc sports science courses uh tamil nadu tnpsu uh, has bsc exercise physiology so they have uh, particularly specialized course for this field university of calcutta has specialized field rkm vare uh, has msc sports science punjab university also has msc sports science punjab sports university has bsc sports science you can there is online this is an online course which gives you Uh, dual degree which is spanish university degree also and indian degree in master in sports science and high performance for it's for one year uh, this also has exercise physiology in its uh, course and next is satanta college online master in performance coaching this also has exercise physiology part uh, but this is for experienced coaches and ex- experienced sports science scientists so top 10 best ranked courses globally so first of all master of clinical exercise physiology from deakin university australia deakin university is one of the best sports science university in the world and especially for exercise physiology they are world renowned for their research and for their course uh, course and it's one of the best in the world so you can look up on that next is like msc clinical exercise physiology and msc physiology and nutrition of sports and exercise from lobra university uk so basically they have divided into two parts one is for clinical side of things and one is for high performance side of things clinical side of things like basically working with uh, adults old adults old age adults the people with disability paralympians not particularly paralympians basically uh, people with disability disorders working with those clients trying to rehab them into getting better movement uh, for their life next is about the msc physiology and nutrition basically it's a sports nutrition sports physiology course for high performance so you can uh, look up on to uh, look look up into this and choose uh, according to your needs if you go if you want to go into clinical side of things or you want to go into the high performance side of things next is msc kinesiology which is a uh, university of from british columbia canada so basically you will have uh, uh, courses to select for your specialization like biomechanics and exercise physiology motor control Uh, and learning so basically you can choose exercise physiology as a specialization uh, and you can work upon that and uh, learn through your course structure for ep only next is for master of exercise physiology university of sydney australia so basically uh, it's a uh, specialized course for exercise physiology and university of sydney is uh, world renowned next is msc kinesiology from university of toronto canada so basically same like university of british columbia they have a specialized course uh, which you can do under msc kinesiology for exercise physiology basically uh, these two canada canadian universities are 
world renowned for their research in especially in sports science field so you can look upon if you're uh, that and if you want to go get into research next is msc clinical exercise physiology and other is msc exercise physiology from liverpool john moore's university uk so basically same like lobby university they have two uh, two courses one is for clinical setting one is for high performance so I, I don't need to explain that i've already explained that one is for clinical and one is for high performance you can look upon as per your needs and liverpool john moore's is one of the world renowned university and you can look upon that next is msc human movement science sports exercise and health rio university amsterdam Amsterdam and in the Netherlands so basically this course is in English and you can uh, choose your specialization uh, for exercise physiology and uh, you can uh, uh, learn through this course and it's one of the good uh, courses in Europe for uh, you can say in terms of research and good course structure next is masters degree in biology of physical activity master bpa university of jevskela uh, finland so basically uh, basically this course you can choose your specialization as a exercise physiology and learn uh, learn upon that and they all uh, university of jevskela uh, in finland they give 10 scholarships so you can look upon that uh, I think two people get uh, two two to four people get hundred percent scholarship, uh, and uh, next next five or six people get fifty percent. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I think I've I had read about this. So basically, you can look upon uh, into the websites and see what are the scholarships. So uh, they have good scholarship program also available there. MSc kinesiology university of calgary canada same like university of Colum british columbia toronto they have good research and uh, you can uh, do specialization in the exercise physiology field next is msc movement science kinesiology university of michigan and arbo usa so basically uh, they also have like you can choose your particular specialization which is exercise physiology and uh, this university is also uh, is good in research part of things so if you want to get into research in usa for exercise physiology this is one of them so that's it like my final thoughts would be that exercise physiology is one of the core subjects of sports science field and uh, its demand will always be there for exercise physiologists ones who are clinical uh, into the clinical side of things and also into the high performance side of things so also uh, some people work uh, simultaneously in the both both kind of settings uh, like they they have their own labs and uh, and work with both uh, variety of people so you can look up on uh, this uh, field it's a very promising field and it's one of the uh, important fields of sports science you can say and there are a lot of opportunities in uh, India in this field and uh, yeah that's that thank you bye like share subscribe and comment down below thank you bye